guys, Coach, uh, after the game on Saturday, seemed like he was uh, happy with the way you guys played, but frustrated in the fact that you couldn't put a complete game together. Was that kind of the sentiment to you guys after the game as well? Um, yeah, after the game, he came in and told, talked to us about not playing all four quarters. So we did have that conversation. And then we came out kind of tough on the delay, after the delay. And we really just got to work on finishing and putting all four quarters together. The biggest thing was the emphasis on just playing three quarters and the fourth quarter, just like, just doing whatever with it. That's really, Sums up everything. We just didn't finish in the end in the fourth quarter. We came out strong the first three quarters. After that delay, we came out strong. It's just we didn't, we couldn't come together and put up, put up points at the end. So all after two weeks, uh, it's you and James Saffington leading the team and receiving yards and catches right now. Um, yeah. I know there were a lot of questions coming into this year as to who was going to really calibrate the offense uh -huh. and run the wide receiver. Are you surprised that it's you and James helping the way after two weeks? I mean, I'm not surprised. Out of all our receivers, we all could come in and have all the yards. That we have a good receiving core. It's just I feel like right now me and James are the ones that's trying to step up and make the plays when it's time plays need to be made. Anything that you guys already know about Kentucky? Uh, obviously, I know it's a big weekend for them. On defense, we'll focus on most of the stopping the run, the same thing we've been doing to every other team, but they have a really, really great running back. I mean, I watched him last year, this year. Uh, he's a very big guy as far as like the way he runs, he's very physical down here running. So our biggest thing is stopping him. And then again, we want them to, if anything, go in the air. So stop the run, and their biggest thing is going sideline to sideline. So if we stop that, then we'll have a chance. We will have a chance. As offensive wise, I mean, we know they got a they got a good uh, DV defensive core and all that. But we're gonna go game plan like we always have and play Murray State ball like we always do. They got a couple really good line, uh, linebackers too, Josh Allen, Cash Daniels. Yeah. Um, have you guys started the game plan for any particular guys? Or no, we really. We just we just really focus on what we do and how we come into the game. You guys have played in this kind of atmosphere before in years past, but talk about what it is like you know, for a school like Murray going into an SEC opponent playing on their field, you know, especially you know, when you know that you know, all the expectations, the expectations is for them. Um, of course, with us being a uh, D1AA school and them being, of course, SEC, the thing is they thinking it's a cakewalk. But well, we're coming to tell them like it's going to be a surprise game. We're going to go out there and play physical the same way we play every other team. And we're going to come out on top and hopefully it'll be a, well, I believe it's going to be an upset. Yeah, hitting on what he said, they looking at us as a, as a cakewalk, but we're coming out playing, playing our ball and doing what we do best. And it's going fast and doing and hitting people in the mouth. When you talk about the improvement week one to week two, what was uh, what was the reasons behind that? Just focusing on uh, what you're maybe doing a little better this week. Or what? Our biggest focus, as you seen from last game, was actually turnovers. So we had we had a lot less turnovers in this game right here. Of course, the rain was a big factor in the turnovers we had last season, but that's not um, I can't use that as an excuse. But it was a big factor in it. We held on the ball tightly um, on defense. Uh, we played more physically. Um, the, they had three good backs this past week, but I felt like we played very physically. Had we didn't have a lot of uh, missed tackles and a lot, not a lot of like, missed assignments and stuff. But um, I feel like that was the biggest factor, especially with the turnovers and us coming together, playing as a whole defense and the whole offense. So, yeah. You guys, have, speaking of turnovers, you guys have forced like five live ball turnovers, stopped a couple of fourth downs. Uh, how in sync is this defense right now as far as forcing the ball into awkward situations? Through the week, um, our biggest thing is getting turnovers, of course. But uh, the way we practice is we have to have three turnovers or we like run out the practice. So our biggest thing is not not running, but it's 
getting turnovers, getting the offense um, more chances. And of course, if you get the offense more chances to score, then the more scores they can put up. So that's our biggest thing. And plus, we won't be on the field long, so we won't give them the opportunity to score. So if we get turnovers, if we get three and out, there's less time we have to be on the field, more time for our offense to score points and get on the field. But our biggest thing is also scoring on, scoring on defense. So turnovers help with that. So that's why we've been instilling in ourselves. Our coaches have been instilling in ourselves to swarm to the ball, first person in, make the tackle, the second person in, get the ball out. How excited are you guys for the license something that you guys talk about, think about? Yeah, I'm very excited for it. Actually, it's an SEC school. It's a big stage, so I just go there and perform and um, show everyone like what we're capable of and let them know that like we can play on any level of football. And us as athletes, like they put their cleats on the same way we put our cleats on. They put their pants on the same way they put our pants on. I mean, they go through the same stuff we go through. I mean, just because it's a big school doesn't mean anything. What about for you? We all, like you said, we're all very excited. I'm very excited. It's a chance to prove that we can play with anybody. We put our helmet on just like they put their stuff on. It's a chance to show everybody that merch they can play big ball.